Okay, uh, still in operations, um, in the network, um, and specifically the network. Uh, how do we protect our, our network? Our network is a vulnerability. It's, um, uh, it's a means of attack, um, it's a target of attack, and, uh, we've talked about that before, but which network? Uh, I mean, we, we have again talked about compartmentalization, but in a sense, we've already got compartmentalization because of the different technologies that we have. Uh, there is the personal area network, uh, where we have Bluetooth and all the devices we carry on our person and the connections between them. Um, the, uh, those those connections and and the uh, uh, ability for those devices to interconnect and and uh, all very convenient uh, helpful important to our businesses um, do we you know properly protect it in in all ways bluetooth uh, uh, wasn't exactly built from the ground up with security in mind so, um, you know, where are our uh, problems there? Uh, next up to the local area network, and we've got local area, I mean, we've got different sizes, unfortunately, of, of local area networks. We've got, uh, you know, primarily there is the, the office local area network. I suppose um, if we go with the original... Uh, uh, Ethernet as a sort of a gauge uh, We could have a floor of a building. Um, we could even have a uh, um, A building um, you know not uh, Too many buildings are going to extend more than a thousand meters in any direction so um, you know, we we can consider that, but then we get to campus area networks. Or, you know, and they're still considered a local area network. Um, so we have multiple buildings, uh, and again, you know, we now we are uh, getting into gateways, routers, uh, switches, uh, and so forth in order to uh, maintain that. We can't have a a single Ethernet, not that having a single Ethernet was any, ever any guarantee of security. Um, so, you know, we, we have to uh, examine the security uh, possibilities, vulnerabilities there. Um, and then we get to a uh, wide area network. And when we talk about wide area network, we're usually thinking, um, okay, this is, you know, maybe country wide uh, to cover that but there isn't any reason um, to stop at that point to to say that you know this is how far a wide area network goes and and so we don't have a distinction between uh, a wide area network uh, which you know may be related to a single company or it may be provided by a telecommunications provider and an infranet, intranet rather, sorry, um, which is uh, a, you know, it's, it's not public like the internet, but it's, it, you know, primarily going to be using the same technologies and, uh, uh, well, I won't exactly say limited, but intended, shall we say, for um, a specific entity, a given enterprise, which may be a worldwide corporation. And, and so what is the difference in size between an intranet and the internet? So, um, you know, as, as the um, uh, question has been raised before, what is the security perimeter when we I mean, you know, when we're talking about security, we are always talking about a security perimeter with regard to uh, 
well, often with regard to a network, but as I say, you know, the bastion mentality, uh, generally speaking, um, we consider a security perimeter as, you know, our, our office building or something like that, or our floor on the office building. Um, even when we're not talking about the uh, uh, so we um, you know we have to think about what is the security perimeter and so we have to think about what is the network in order to define what uh, the security perimeter is it's uh, you know that's that's just part and parcel of, of what we need to do in in terms of operations um, our operations we need the network uh, you know, these days that is an absolute necessity and and so we have to figure out what the vulnerabilities are and what the protections are that we can put in place to to address those vulnerabilities so we conduct audits uh, we do vulnerability and penetration tests. Uh, we review our logs. All of this, none of this is new. All of this stuff we have discussed before. As I say, you know, uh, operations is not just a grab bag. It's also a review of pretty much everything that we've done. Um, look at the account reviews. And again, going back to access control, what is it... Uh, you know, why does this person need uh, access and to what do they need access for their particular uh, purpose within the enterprise? So uh, make sure that we do not extend their rights beyond what they need, but ensure that we do give them what they need. And again, we're, we're addressing, you know, confidentiality on the one side and availability on the other. And we have to balance those. We have to uh, make the best choice uh, between two sometimes competing uh, functions and, and requirements. So we are uh, you know, going to consider all of those things, uh, ensuring that we understand, uh, that we... Um, do the best that we can uh, knowing what we know about our enterprise and our facilities.